Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Talk Time with Pastor Krista. I don't know if you can tell where I am today. Maybe the big garage door behind me is going to give it away, but I'm doing Talk Time today from my garage because we're going to be talking about boxes. Now, we have a few boxes piled up, and I have to cut those down so we can recycle the cardboard. And we have more boxes now than we've ever had before because we're doing a lot of ordering online. That kind of started when the pandemic started. So we have medium boxes, we have humongous big boxes, and we have tiny little boxes. So we have all kinds of boxes, and you can put all types of things in a box. But the one thing you cannot put in a box is God. And the reason you can't put God inside a box is because God won't fit. So let me give you an example. If I were to ask you, tell me the person who loves you most on this earth, who is the person who loves you most? And if you're lucky enough, maybe you can not only come up with one person. Maybe you will say, well, my mom and my dad, I know they love me. And my grandma loves me. And my brother or sister loves me. And we have a lot of friends who love us. But I want you to try to think of the people, we'll say people, who love you the very most. Well, you know what? This is a fun fact about God. God loves you more than the people who love you the most. Can you imagine that? You know what? You really can't. It's so hard to imagine that God loves you more than any person on earth could ever love you. And that kind of love, we can't fit in a box. And when we try to put God in a box, then we kind of cheat ourselves out of experiencing all that God can be in our lives. So let's take a look in our Bible today and let's see what it says about God and God's love for us and how big God is and the fact that we can't fit God in a box. So I'm reading today from 1 Corinthians 2, verse 9, and this is what it says. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has conceived what God has prepared for those who love God. That's how big God is. You can't see it. You can't hear it. You can't imagine all that love that God has for you. So as you are walking through your day today, I want you to be sure that you don't try to put God in a box. Let God go and flow all around you because that's the best place to find God when you need God is all around you. So because we talked about eyes and ears today, we're going to sing the eyes and ears song. So here we go, ready? Be careful little eyes what you see. Be careful little eyes what you see. The Father up above is looking down in love. So be careful little eyes what you see. Be careful little ears what you hear. Be careful, little ears, what you hear. The Father up above is looking down in love. So be careful, little ears, what you hear. Be careful, little mouths, what you say. Be careful, little mouths, what you say. The Father up above is looking down in love. So be careful, little mouths, what you say. Now, way to go. Let's do our benediction. So. Today is Tuesday, kind of the beginning of the week. I will be with you again on Thursday, and it looks like today is kind of a nice day out there. So I'm going to get in my car, and I'm going to go to church and start doing my job. And I hope to see you on Thursday. So from my garage, let's do our benediction. Are you ready? My heart loves your heart because Jesus first loved us. God bless you, and we will see you on Thursday.